keeping an eye on imaging. Discussion and commentary based on articles from Jack Cardiovascular Imaging. Hello, my name is uh, Dr. Vasquez del Cisian. I'm associate editor of Jack Imaging. With me in the studio is Dr. Uh, Andrew Einstein, who's from Columbia University Medical Center. Dr. Einstein, welcome. Thank you. Good to be here, Vasquez. Uh, in the current issue of uh, Jack Imaging, you have a very intriguing article in the business section where you bring up the issue about breaking America's dependence on molybdenum. Mm -hmm. It very much sounds like breaking our dependence of, on foreign oil, if you will. Uh, perhaps you can first draw a parallelism between oil and molybdenum and tell us what, what is molybdenum and why mm -hmm. should we be worried about molybdenum? Well, <coughs> molybdenum-99 is a radioisotope, which is the parent compound of technetium 99M. Technetium 99M is really the workhorse of nuclear imaging, including being the workhorse of nuclear cardiology. Approximately 97% of nuclear stress tests involve the administration of technetium 99M. So to produce that technetium 99M, we need molybdenum 99. So from your title, I gather that we don't generate molybdenum or uh, in this country? We don't generate molybdenum-99 in this country, that's correct. Uh, America's supply of molybdenum-99 is largely dependent on our uh, neighbors to the north, the uh, Canadians, uh, and to a lesser degree we purchase some from Europe as well. So again, if you would think about oil, we have mm -hmm. alternate approaches mm -hmm. to energy. Yeah, uh, I, what are the alternate approaches then to this problem, if there are any? Uh, well, I, I think there are a few alternate approaches. One would be to uh, have an American supply of molybdenum-99. Uh, as of now, while there are reactors which are potentially capable of producing molybdenum-99, they don't currently, and they would have to be reconfigured in, in certain ways to do so. We also don't have the processing capabilities uh, which are necessary, so it would require uh, an investment in infrastructure. Another alternative might be to consider other uh, myocardial perfusion agents. Uh, we have really three other agents which are available. One is thallium, which was the predecessor of technetium-99, and which was used widely in this country until technetium-99M-based agents became available. I think uh, thallium has a, a couple of disadvantages over molybdenum. Uh, in the administered activity of thallium is much lower, so in larger patients, and especially as the American population becomes more obese, we, we have more attenuation, and it doesn't result in as good image quality. Uh, I, I think that it would be a real loss if we didn't have the good image uh, quality that Technetium 99M provides. Sure, and, and, and as, as you uh, know, there are also pet perfusion agents, except that mm -hmm. there are not enough pet cameras in this country. There's only 1,600 pet cameras versus 12,000 spec mm -hmm. cameras. So even though there are alternate pet perfusion agents, they're actually pharmacologic stressed out with exercise, and perhaps mm -hmm. they're not really, uh, uh, they wouldn't fulfill the need uh, we, we, of lack of technetium. That's right. We do about 9 million uh, spec myocardial perfusion studies per year in this country, and there are only about 36,000 PET myocardial perfusion imaging procedures done. So to ramp up that 36,000 to cover for uh, close to 9 million procedures, we, we just don't have the infrastructure for that right so now. So it's not a realistic alternative, even though it's there. I, so, so would you think that uh, with the current advances in technology mm -hmm. and cameras, are we still dependent on sodium iodide crystals and technetium to be the ideal combination of camera and radiopharmaceutical, if you will? Would you think that perhaps in the future we would be moving away from technetium and going to uh, radio-labeled agents such as iodine-123? I don't think that's out of the realm of possibility, but I don't think there are any good I-123-based perfusion tracers which are in the pipeline now. And I think America's uh, ability uh, to uh, produce uh, technetium 99M is something which can be accomplished in a much shorter period of time than uh, developing a new radiopharmaceutical, which really is, isn't even in phase three clinical trials now. So if I could summarize what you said is that while there may be potentials, they're not here. So they will not solve the problem at the present time. And all of these uh, could be in developmental stages where they're switching from technetium to iodine labeled radio tracers or uh, uh, changing the current spec cameras to faster spec cameras with different crystals. But the reality is that if we don't have molybdenum 
at the present time, that will not be able, we will not be able to replace it immediately. Is, is I, I would agree with that assessment, yeah. So, um, so, so how would you, again, just to briefly summarize, if you could, in a mm -hmm. couple of sentences, where, where do you think we should take this issue? Well, I think as you made a good analogy between oil and technetium 99M, here we have an energy product which we're really dependent upon. There are no good alternatives, and in the absence of this agent, we have a big problem continuing the activities which we currently do on a daily basis. We're critically dependent on a foreign supply, and there's a problem with that foreign supply chain. Uh, so I, I think we need to do something to remedy this situation be, before our pipeline uh, from Canada of molybdenum uh, runs out, because the reactor which the Canadians use uh, is 51 years old currently, and it's, it shows signs of, of aging. Uh, uh, Dr. Lange, it's been uh, great to have you here. Uh, it's it's a, an important topic, and hopefully in the future we'll have you come back and give us an update of, of where the issue is. Thank you, that would be great. Thanks. Keeping an eye on imaging. Have a question or comment about a CBN story? Send us an email at cbnfeedback at acc.org.